Hello everyone. Today we're going to shoot these hammer bullets, and uh, these things are pretty cool. I'll give you a close-up look at them. But anyhow, they're 348 caliber. We're going to shoot them into some ballistic gelatin and just kind of see how they'll do. We worked up a load for it. We used several different powders. We come up with a little over 3,000 feet a second. We're going to shoot them into the ballistic gelatin at close range, like your very minimum range, see what they'll do. And we've already shot them in ballistic gelatin at uh, a lower velocity, which will tell us what it'll do at about 100 yards. And I'm going to shoot it, like I said, into some ballistic gelatin here in a minute. And we'll let you know if that's about the same as what it did at 100 yards. And with it set up like it is right now, if you sight it in three inches high at 100 yards, it'll be three inches low, a little over three inches low, like 3.4 inches low at 300 yards. So we have a 300 yard point blank range with these 157 grain bullets. The ballistic coefficient on these is 3 point, or 302, which is not bad at all. And these are made uh, in Montana, USA. So these are American, no, yeah, Big Fork, Montana. So these are made in Montana, USA. So that's pretty cool. So they are American made bullets. And today we're gonna shoot them for, we're gonna shoot them for, to see what kind of what kind of expansion we get to see if they're worth shooting a game animal with and then later once we get this thing sighted in which right now we have this uh fast fire three on this uh this is a 71 winchester and 348 caliber so we got that set up on here we're gonna shoot it into the ballistic gelatin see what it'll do this is actually one of my favorite favorite uh deer rifles this thing here it just throws up to the shoulder so fast and you can just get it on target so quick. And so I'm going to try this out and see if it'll hold zero. Some people say it will, some people say it won't. And we're going to try it out. And I'll throw a, a, a little video clip right here of me shooting a 10 point, or anyhow, a 10 point butt that I shot with this gun. It's a very handy gun, very uh, ergonomic. I mean, you just really just get it on sight so fast. And actually, when I shot that deer, where it come out, it come out so far over this direction that I couldn't get my arm, like, like I'll bend it around here, like I couldn't get my arm on it, so I actually just shot it like this right here. And uh, it worked out really good, got that 10 point. And let's just shoot this booger and see what it does. This is a close up of those bullets. They look like really well made bullets. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to get a deer with them this year. And, but I think, I think they're well-made bullets. I'll give you a little closer look. I'll get that card out of the way. Give you a little closer look at them. They got a big old hollow point in there. Hopefully it'll, it'll expand. I think they're actually made to break apart. But I'm, I've got them because uh, Cutting Edge has some, but they're not near as ballistic efficient as these are. Like I said, these are 302, which that's going to make it really good. Like I said, it'll have a, a point blank range of 300 yards. It's got kind of a little bit of a reduced tail on it. And it says one in, I think it says, yeah, one in 17 twist rate. They're kind of oddball weight, 157 grain. And they say they're mimicking the original. Um, 150 grain that uh, Winchester originally come out with for the 348, but being 157, that's only almost 160 grain. But the coefficient and the fact that it's got a solid base that should penetrate on through the animal after it expands or comes apart like they're supposed to. So let's shoot these things, see what they do. This is a close up of those bullets. They look like really well made bullets. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to get a deer with them this year. And, but I think, I think they're well-made bullets. I'll give you a little closer look. I'll get that card out of the way. Give you a little closer look at them. 
they got a big old hollow point in it. Hopefully it'll, it'll expand. I think they're actually made to break apart. But I'm, I've am i got them because uh, Cutting Edge has some, but they're not near as ballistic efficient as these are. Like I said, these are 302, which that's going to make it really good. Like I said, it'll have a, a point blank range of 300 yards. It's got kind of a little bit of a reduced tail on it. And it says one and I think it says, yeah, one and 17 twist rate. They're kind of oddball weight, 157 grain. And they say they're mimicking the original um, 150 grain that uh, Winchester originally come out with for the 348. But being 157, that's only almost 160 grain. But the coefficient and the fact that it's got a solid base that should penetrate on through the animal after it expands or comes apart like they're supposed to. So let's shoot these things, see what they do. It's getting late. We got to try to shoot them through those blocks of gelatin. Let's see what it did. Okay. As you can tell, it broke up, made a huge wound channel. This is the remainder of that bullet right here. That's what the base of it looks like. That is a huge wound channel coming down through there. And as you see, the base of this is going to go on through. So you're always going to get an entrance and an exit, which is good. And then, you know, this is this part's going to go on through. And I'm not sure at lower velocities, at longer ranges, that might just expand out and look good, you know, be a nice mushroom. Look at that. Look at the size of that wound channel going down through there. Here's the end view right here. Well, as you've seen, that did really good because, let me set this, when the, the bullet went about this far before it really opened up, and that will get you through the rib cage into the boiler room, and that's going to really open up and do a good amount of damage in the boiler room where it needs to, but it's also going to send a, the rest of the projectile on through, and that's going to leave you a really good trail should the game animal run anywhere you'll be able to follow you know it'll be coming out both sides you'll be able to follow that blood trail really good so i don't know what you guys thoughts are but i think these bullets are going to do good because the ballistic coefficient plus the velocity we're able to get and hopefully they'll be just as accurate as they are um, good at getting good velocity I'm actually surprised that I'm actually surprised at the velocity that we're getting but um, they're not showing any pressure sign it's getting on up there they're boot scooting and boogieing and we're actually using a heavier bullet load you know to we're actually using a heavier bullet load to shoot these lighter bullets so the pressure should be okay without any problem at all, even in hot weather. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless each and every one of you. Come back and see me, you hear?